All right, we have a big update this evening on a historic plant in East Greensboro that's getting new life and it could lead to hundreds of jobs. Yeah, the Nussbaum Center from Entrepreneurship is redeveloping the former Carolina Steel Plant, which will now be called the Steel House. And Fox 8's Natasha Lagur joins us here in the studio tonight. So Natasha, what do they plan to do with this 11 acre facility? Well, they are planning to turn this facility into a place that can be a manufacturing and food production and provide spaces for small offices and much more. The entire project could bring around 600 jobs to Greensboro, and that will take time, some time for that project to still needing more funds. I'm super excited about the project. I'm glad that it's finally coming to fruition. Taking something old and turning it into something new. It's what the Nasbaum Center for Entrepreneurship is doing with the former Carolina Steel Plant in East Greensboro. We provide that safe place for them to land. What started as a plan on paper is fast becoming a reality with D.H. Griffin Construction taking over as general constructor on the project. Plans call to repurpose the building into a place for manufacturing, a farmer's market, and much needed affordable office space for entrepreneurs. Manufacturing entrepreneurs and really specialty entrepreneurs have been disenfranchised when it comes to space for years. The majority of entrepreneur spaces that are stood up within the triad don't have access to affordable, scalable space. It will be called the Steel House, and the Nussbaum Center hopes it becomes a catalyst for new businesses and in the end creating 600 jobs. But before all that happens, there's a lot of work to be done. It needs to be cleaned up, it needs a new roof, it needs new walls, but this building is still usable and by renovating it, it allows us to preserve a piece of Greensboro history. While the city, county, federal agencies and donors have pitched in almost six and a half million dollars, the total project will cost $36 million. That means redevelopment will happen in stages. The first one will start at the first quarter in 2024. We feel it's very important that we are creating those jobs here and we are supporting the small businesses that have chosen Greensboro. And as the team continues to look for more funds, they are thinking to bring medical clinics inside and a farmer's market inside the steel house for phase two.